Hey there, Dashrel Rush, and because I'm in the mood, I'm going to make a top 10 games I'm looking forward to for the rest of the year, 2009. Okay, uh, let's get started quickly. My number 10 game I'm looking forward to uh, for the rest of 09 is Modern War uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, coming out for the Xbox 360, PS3, and PC on November 10th, uh, so I believe. Uh, it is an FPS shooter game, the sequel to Call of Duty Modern, uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern, War Modern Warfare, um, which is one of the highest rated shooters ever, I believe, one of the greatest and most acclaimed uh, shooters out there. And the reason that I'm looking forward to this is because uh, I got a 360 about a year ago, and I am really looking forward to getting into the first person shooter uh, scene, you know, online multiplayer scene, I guess you could say. And, um, while I've really been, uh, while I haven't really been a fan of dual analog control, I figure eventually, if I do want to get into first person shooters on, you know, the 360, Xbox Live, online multiplayer, whatever, then I gotta get, I have to bite the bullet, <laughs> pun and get used to uh, dual analog first person shooter controls and I figure might as well use what is probably going to be rated the best first person shooter of the year to do that with. Am I right? I'm right. Okay. Uh, number nine on this list. Call of Duty Modern... Uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern, War uh, Modern Warfare... I can't speak today. Modern Warfare for the Wii also comes out November 10th. Um... Like I said, I really want to get into the first person shooter scene. I feel that I, I've ignored that whole genre of games for basically my whole life uh, until I got the conduit this year. And, well, I do like the conduit. I just feel like this would be a natural evolution, a natural person shooter evolution. This will probably be the better game, and there will probably be more people online. So I'm just hoping that I could get this game. Plus, I prefer the Wii controls from first-person shooters. It's just easier for me. It's more um, intuitive. So, yeah. I'm gonna probably I'm look, really looking forward to this game. Number eight is The Borderlands. Um, for the Xbox 360, PS3, and PC coming out October 23rd. Um, like I said, I really want to get into first-person shooters. Um, and unlike Modern Warfare 2, this is a team-based game, a lot like uh, Left 4 Dead. And I just figured that, and I think that that'll be easier to adjust to because I'm not versing other humans. It's uh, me with four other humans against, you know, the CPU, artificial intelligence, whatever you want to call it. Plus, I really like the style the game's taking. I do like the cartoony, uh, cel-shaded style. And, um... I'm just really think that this will help me adjust to dual analog controls and first person shooters in general. Number seven on my list is Scribble Knots for the Nintendo DS coming out September 15th. Um, this is a puzzle game whose uh, which main gameplay element is that you could write anything and it'll appear in game and you will be able to interact with it. And um, I just think that that's a fun idea where you basically are a god creating anything into this the game universe and a able to use it to solve the puzzle, which is to collect things, starites, I believe they're called, and you have to use the elements. And Anyway, I just think it'll be fun to just create, see what happens, uh, just to experiment. And uh, besides, the creator bonus is a rooster hat. A rooster hat, a hat with the, the rooster red thing on the head, you know. And, so if the game sucks, I still get that for pre-ordering, and that's a bonus. Number six on this list is Batman Arkham Asylum for the 360, PS3, and PC. comes out August 25th. Um, as you may know, or not know, I am a huge Batman fan, so this game just got me excited when I first heard of it because you get a play as Batman, and that, that's a plus for me. Um, it's a classic beat-em-up. Uh, well, in 3D, so it's not so classic, but it is the beat-em-up formula. Uh, so I believe uh, maybe an action-adventure beat-em-up, whatever you want to call it. Where you're Batman just beating up thugs, although this does have a smarter side to it. You do have to play detective and make sure that you don't die because you are versing huge guys with guns and 
superpowers and whatever. And, uh, I'm really, I think it's really cool that they brought uh, Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill to do the voices of Batman and Joker, respectively. You know, the guys who did the animated series. It just looks really fun, and I can't wait to be Batman. Number five is Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2, or whatever it is, for the Nintendo DS coming out September 29th. Um, I really am a fan of action RPGs because I'm a fan of action adventure, and the two are really similar, except that one takes a bit longer. I'll take I'll, uh, the action RPG. And um, I've liked the Kingdom Hearts series so far. I've only played the first one, uh, granted. Uh, but I've heard good things about the second, and I just really like the gameplay. It's a really fun game, really fun series. I hope this continues it. And uh, on the DS, I just hope it's a good experience, and I'm really looking forward to it. Number four on my list is Mario and Luigi RPG 3, or Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Uh, this is a tur oh comes out September 14th. This is a a turn-based RPG, like the other Mario RPG uh, games in the series, but Paper Mario, well, not Super Paper Mario, but first two Paper Marios and the others on the Game Boy and uh, Game Boy Advance and Game Boy DS so far. Um, I've loved the previous games. They've always had a charm and an ambiance and a style that's been unique, and it's a funny, light-hearted series, um, and I just can't wait. It looks like a fun game. and. Uh, can't wait to play the newest one when it comes out. Number three on my list of games I can't wait to play in 2009 are Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks coming out for the DS uh, Holiday 09. And uh, it's Legend of Zelda. You can't go wrong. It is an action-adventure series, uh, as you may know. And it's Zelda. It's from a great pedigree, a great series. Um, and I've loved all the previous games. I've never played the CDI ones, granted, but, uh, you know, I loved all the previous games on Nintendo systems. It's always been a good series, always a high uh, caliber series, and I just can't wait for this one. Plus, it's he's on a train. I think that's cool. I, for one, think that is a cool thing, him on a train. Number two is New Super Mario Bros. Wii, uh, coming out for the Wii Holiday 09. And this is classic 2D Mario gameplay, classic side-scrolling platforming. Uh, and I, for one, do love platformers. They are my favorite genre of games. Um, and it's just classic Mario. You can't go wrong. Plus, the co-op option really does look fun. I, I love playing games with friends co-op. Uh, so this it should be fun. Just playing Mario with friends at the same time. Plus, it has Yoshi in it, and Yoshi is awesome. That was a thumbs up I did. Um, and... Now, you may be surprised at my first choice, because you may have guessed that New Super Mario Bros. Wii is my first choice, because I do love platformers so much, and Mario, the Mario series has always been good, and I'm a huge Nintendo fan, and uh, there are no Sonic games this year, except for Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games, and uh, the first one was, it was good as a party game, but no. So, my number one game I'm looking forward to in 2009, that I am so hyped for, is Assassin's Creed 2 coming out for the 360, PS3, and PC November 17th. Uh, it is an action-adventure game, although I like to think of it as kind of a 3D platformer because uh, it has a huge emphasis on parkour, uh, free-running, and free-roaming. Uh, basically, you climb anything, jump off everything, it just go anywhere and do all that stuff. And I really like the first game, which kind of implemented this, you know, the the series, this is, anyway, that whole free roaming thing, and I really love that game, and I really like how you could just ignore the game and just hop off things, and I always like doing that, that's fun for me, um, so, yeah, it just looks like an improved version of the first game, which I thought was really good, and I can't wait, um, so those are my top ten games I'm looking forward to in 2009, uh, all these dates are U.S., uh, release dates. I'm not sure if I got the PC ones correct because those usually come out uh, later. Um, and they are all subject to change. Um, more stuff to talk about. I am moving. I should be moving on the 27th uh, of this month. I'm not going to say where because that would be stupid. Um, but yeah, just 
that's my video for today.